Hi, it's Crea. The Artifact 3D files are finally here. So, let me briefly show you how you can get started. First, head over to the official Clonex website, links to which are provided in the YouTube video description below or in the official links channel on the Artifact Discord server. Once you're here, click on My Inventory in the upper right corner and log in with your MetaMask wallet. This will allow you to access your inventory where you can view your Clonex. Once selected, you will see three tabs, one to view your Clonex attributes, to learn more, and the other to access and download your brand new 3D files. After confirming the terms and conditions, you will need to accept the first download request on your wallet before accessing your files. No gas fees will be required, and you will automatically receive all the 3D files you have selected in the form of zip files. Open the downloads folder on your computer and inside each zip file you will find subzips named after your clonex traits. In here you can find your files and as you can see there is a wide range of file formats to choose from. This basically allows you to open them in any 3D computer graphics or viewing software you prefer. And in addition to your clonex traits, all holders will receive two pairs of artifact pants and a glorious pair of slides to further customize your avatar. Now, let me show you how you can join the wearables to your full body Clonex to start customizing your very own artifact avatar. All the files are optimized for Maya, a 3D software, but in this video I will show you how to use the 3D files in Blender, which is a free alternative, available for anyone to download. Now, once Blender is ready, open the blend file of your character like so, and click here to show the textures. Then, to load the 3D files, go to Append, and once you're here, you can check the traits of your Clonex. If you double-click your file, you will see all the data blocks of that file, like the armature, brush, textures, etc. But what you want to open is Collection. Open that's Fig 0, and as you can see, the hair is in the right position. But now you have two armatures, one for the hair that you just loaded and the other one for the head and the body. So, to change that, just click on the hair, go to this blue icon in which you can access the modifiers, and in the armature modifier, you just change the armature and select the first one that controls the body. And now, you can click this extra armature and delete it with X. So, now I'm going to pose mode, and I'm going to click this icon on the top to show the bones. Now, by clicking any bone, you can see that it works perfectly, and the two meshes move together. So let's now load the rest of the items. Let's go for the eyes. And as you will see, it's basically the same process. Go to Append, and now select the eyes. Here we are, but <laughs> since we moved the original armature, now the eyes are not in the correct position. So to fix this, just follow the same process. You just click the mesh that you recently loaded, change the armature, and boom. Now, you can click on this extra armature, press X, and delete it. Let's load more traits, like, for example, the eyebrows. Same process once again, and just change the armature and delete the duplicated armature. Now, select the eyelashes, and once again, follow the same process from before. And voila! From now on, simply follow the same steps for every single trait, and you will soon have a fully customized Clonex avatar ready to enter the metaverse.